Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solution to discuss uh, another related rates uh, problem and look at the sliding la ladder example. Basically, if the example goes, uh, if you're given a ladder that's 10 foot long, yeah, and it rests against a vertical wall, if the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall at a rate of one foot per second, how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall when the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall? So basically, let's just draw a wall and uh, a ladder. Yeah, so here's uh, just a quick drawing here. If we call this the wall right here, and now uh, basically th there's the ladder. I'll just point it out, ladder and the bottom is the ground right here. So we could first thing we should do is just draw down and write what we know. So the ladder is 10 foot long. So then basically uh, the length of it is 10 foot. I'll just write 10 foot here. And uh, this is a perfect, this has a 90 degrees. It's just uh, assume that the wall and the ground make a 90 degree uh, angle right there. Just like most walls do. It's basically if the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall at one foot per second. Uh, so let's just uh, basically it's moving go at one foot per second right here and this is uh, basically yeah it's, it's moving this fast and how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down or in this case what is this rate right here this uh, the sliding down rate uh, when the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall so this is at six foot right here so what we could do is actually let the bottom here from uh, the distance of the ladder to the bottom from the wall be x and the distance of the ladder from the ground on the y on the vertical side as y. So basically we can consider this one foot per second as dx over dt or the rate of change of x versus time or basically x prime as a derivative. So we could write it as that and then this one right here could be the decrease or we could call basically what we're trying to find is y prime equals to dy over dt and this is what we're trying to find right here. So like I showed in my earlier video on the introduction to related rates, basically what we have to do is find an equation that relates the two rates together and then use the chain rule by taking derivative. So what we could do, we know this is, uh, we could relate x and y directly by using Pythagoras theorem. I uh, see video link below for proof. So if x squared uh, x squared plus y squared equals to basically the hypotenuse squared which is 10 squared equals to 100 so now we could take the derivative on both sides and we'll get just using implicit differentiation you can see uh, more on that in video links below on implicit differentiation so basically take derivative on both sides in terms of t right here the time so we'll have using power rule 2x and then we have to use chain rule because x is a function of t and this is going to be x prime, which is number dx over dt, plus now 2y, y prime, and then the right side is equal to 0. So now we can cancel the 2's out, solve for y prime, we get y prime is equal to, shift this over to the right, negative x times x prime all over y. So we know actually, so basically uh, we know x out, because we're looking for at x equals to 6. So at x equals to 6 feet, we get basically now negative 6 times it by uh, the rate as uh, x is changing. It's 1 foot per second. So we'll go 1 right here divided by y. So y at x equals 6, we got to find it out. And we can do that. Just plug this into Pythagoras theorem. So we know that uh, basically uh, x squared again plus y squared equals to 100. Solve for y in terms of x, we get y is equal to plus or minus square root 100 minus x squared solving this and then we're only dealing with a plus because a negative y doesn't make sense we can't have a negative uh, height so we're only dealing with a positive one right here so then plug that in so y is equal to so yeah, y is equal to square root 100 minus now x squared x is 6 so 6 squared and now 6 squared, that's just 36, so we get well, square root 100 minus 36, that equals 2 square root 64, and the square root of 64, that's just 8. So 8 times 8 is 64. So we have y is, uh, is 8 right here, so we just plug this in right here. So negative 6 feet times 1 foot per second divided by 8 feet. Now once again, the feet cancel, all we're left with the units is... Uh, is basically feet over second. So this one here, I'll write it down here. Y prime is equal to negative uh, six over eight feet per second 
or this would equal to, you could simplify it further, divide by two on both sides, so negative three over four uh, feet per second, and this is uh, just equal to negative 0.75, yeah, negative 0.75 feet per second, and this is our answer. When, what this is saying now is basically this negative means that it's decreasing, so it's basically the sliding down the ladder and uh, down the wall, and that's why it's negative. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hope you uh, learned from this uh, quick example on related rates. Remember, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.